What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see, we got my guy on the screen, Byron. And as y'all notice, he's moved. He's in the penthouse. <laughs> Byron, what's good with you, my boy? How's what's everything? Up? And life is good, man. Appreciate you having me. Life is good. I appreciate you on the show. I appreciate you on the show, man. Listen, listen, we're going to get right on into it, dog. Um, but before we do that, I just got to say, um, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food since it's around the time period? What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh, I got to have candy yams. I I, I, I got to have candy yams. Okay. If I ain't got the candy yams, I'm good. Like, that's all I need. I need the candy yams. Okay. That's See, it. I'm not mad at that answer. I'm not mad at that answer. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm gonna just say this. I have a cheat code with it because I was gonna use candy yams, a version of them at least as my dessert. But mine is mac and cheese. Like it's got to be mac and cheese. It's got to be fried mac and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm not mad at yours too. Because if you tell me you got some marshmallows on them things, hey, dog, like it's a little tough. Yes. Dang, I'm starting to get hungry Yeah, I need right, the Favorite dessert. Favorite dessert though. Favorite dessert. Uh, that's tough. It it can go a lot of ways. My mother, she always made sweet potato pie. That was something that we kind of came up with, sweet potato pie, apple pie, the cobbler, the peach cobbler. So like, you know, it's the traditional Southern pies, if you will. So I can't really choose one, but. You got to pick I, one, brother. You got to pick one. If I had to pick one, let me get that peach cobbler. Get that okay. Pizza. All right. That's a bet. That's a bet. Then. See, it's tough for me too, because I also say I have a sweet potato pie and banana pudding is my favorites. But if I gotta go with one, because I didn't get the yams, I'm gonna say sweet potato pie. You know what I'm you saying? You can't go like, wrong. Sweet potato pie. That thing's different. <laughs> yeah. It's you know it, it's it, it is what it is. We here with it. We here with it. But ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I just wanted to you know get that that food out of the way because. It's around Thanksgiving time, so I was I was actually curious what your, uh, what your favorite meal is. Now, um, Byron, we just gonna go right on into it because we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, the NFC. Now we got, and let, and let me go ahead and pull these boys up on the screen here. Um, give me a second. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start it off with the NFC. East. Now we got the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Commanders. I keep wanting to say Redskins, and it's still been a couple of years. <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Yes. And the Giants. You know what I'm saying? Um, Byron, who's going to win this division? Because I mean, it's not as cut and dry as, as it looks right now. I mean, I understand it's nine and one. Eagles. They just went to the Super Bowl last year, and the Eagles have beaten pretty much everybody in the division. Are they the favorites, or is, is this your answer, or or is there any other team that can win it? I think it's clear cut. It's the Eagles. Dallas does this every year. Um, it's cold outside now. It's about to get cold outside, and <laughs> history shows itself with Dallas, and it gets cold outside, especially in once it hits about late November, early December is when Dallas starts being Dallas. And I'm not a Cowboys hater, but it's just the reality of it. Um, They'll probably drop three games, if I had to guess, within the next couple of weeks. Just that's just what Dallas does. They just don't play well at, at, at the end of the season. That's just a phenomenon they do. I think Philly is your clear-cut winner in the division, um, especially, I mean, they just beat the beast of the beast of the East, if you will, in um, Kansas the City. Chiefs, yeah, yeah Kansas City. Game. So a good game. It's a good game. But I think that just showcases that Philly is a complete team. And I think they have a complete leader with Hurts. I really like Hurts. He's he's not a perfect quarterback, but he's what your team needs. And I think that kind of gets you over the hump, especially later in the season as people kind of get tired and okay, you know, you know, we're ready for playoffs. I think Hurts can kind of keep the boys together. Um, so and Kelsey as well. So um, Okay. I like the now, Eagles, yeah. Now you like the Eagles, but I mean, to his to his name, it has seemed like Jalen Hurts has been hurt a little bit over the season. So, I mean, with that being said, do you expect Jalen Hurts to be – do you expect his durability to last throughout the season and playoffs? Because, you know, as as the playoffs hit, it only gets harder. You know what I'm saying? And it's a long yeah. season too. So, I mean, what's your thoughts on that? Because 
because let's not count out the Cowboys. Yeah, they they might start cowboying, you know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, this is a playoff team who, I mean, they're like like, you know, bottom of the barrel, they can get to the the uh the um oh my god, the wild card. So I mean, and and, and, and all they gotta do is get to the playoffs. They have the talent to get to the Super Bowl. So I mean, I they seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I mean, they had their early season woes. Um, mm-hmm. They had their early season woes. I think them not having um, Trayvon Diggs will hurt him, even though he's a gamble guy. He likes to gamble. But, I mean, sometimes when you gamble, you hit big. I mean, that's 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 kind of how gambling works. And so, yeah. for me, not having him could be detrimental mm-hmm. just based on how you schematically play. I mm-hmm. think you can kind of get away. And their strength of schedule, I know, hasn't been too that too hasn't been too difficult this season. To be honest, it hasn't been one of the hardest ones. It's like the Eagles, that's why they all oh, the Eagles' strength of schedule is pretty bad. I mean, people been saying that all season as well. So, um, I would say, I think Dallas definitely gets in the playoffs. I mean, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. How Fairly far they go? Here. I mean, honestly, they'll probably play San Francisco early yeah. on and lose. If I had this, this to be real, so like. And I'm I'm not a fortune teller, but if I had to guess, the Eagles would get a first round bye, and so would San Francisco. Cowboys would probably win their wild card game, and probably end up playing San Francisco. You know, for the uh, what's but the see, divisional round. It, it, but so, see, here's the thing, though. So the Eagles are ahead of the 49ers. So right now, yeah. if they go through the playoffs, and let's say the uh, the Cowboys are a wild card team. I think they're at. I think they're the lower seed. So now they got to play the Eagles. But so if they got to play actually, the Eagles now. They got a fighting chance because I always say a, a divisional game, it's a jump ball. Like it's anybody's. You know what I'm saying? It is. And, and it's playoffs say, too. I'm 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 completely skipping that. The second best record in the actual NFC is the is the Lions. So, in re, in in all aspects, San Fran might end up playing Dallas round one. It's, it's it's very possible, um, but if they ooh, you think you think the Lions are gonna are gonna hold on for the rest? I mean, we'll 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 uh, see. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure we'll we'll see, we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. But yeah, um, but I, I would say yeah, I, I I would say at at the end of the day, Dallas is gonna have to either play the Eagles again, or they're gonna have to play San Fran. I mean, that's okay. just. I think that's how it's end up going. Um, that's how it's end up going. Um, I think both teams match up great against the Cowboys, especially the Eagles. They got so many weapons on offense. They got running backs. They got wideouts. So, like, I mean, look, I ain't trying to talk too much about defense. I ain't trying to talk too much about the Cowboys, but I do think, to your point, also, the Cowboys match up pretty well against them teams too. Like it, it, it's not out of the realm of possibility, ladies and gentlemen, that we could see the Cowboys win the Super Bowl this year. That's all I'm saying, and and oh, wow. I'm not, you know, what I'm saying. And Byron, listen, listen, I don't like the Cowboys. Well, I don't like the Cowboys fans, I should say, um, because I do expect the Cowboys to be Cowboys. But for some reason, this season it, it it seems different. Like Dak's been getting pressure since preseason. You know what I'm saying? Like Trayvon Diggs goes down. The defense still been solid. The offense has been pretty good over the last three games. Like. It 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 just it's been feeling a little bit different. I don't have that same gut feeling. I don't know, like, but the Eagles do seem impressive though. They win good. They win those gritty, gutty teams or, or, or games. I, I I don't know for some reason. I gotta I, I I got something for the for the Cowboys, but um, you know, I we'll, we'll see how that shakes. Is there any love though? Any love before we transition on to the next division? Is there any mm-hmm. love, for the Commanders or the Giants? Like, can, can they? Can they turn it around for us? I mean, um, I would say the Giants, no. Um, okay. Okay. I was looking at Dallas the remaining games. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's going to be t- – they got some tough games. Um, but I, I would say in regards to Washington and, and, and um, New York, um, mm. I, I don't see it. I mean, you already got seven, eight L's, and we're not even – you know, we're not – I don't think there's seven games left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, seven games left. Seven games, yeah. Yeah, seven games left. I think Washington maybe finishes with two more wins, like three more wins max. I think <laughs> New York finishes probably with two more wins, three more wins max. I don't see them making any noise. Um, 
at okay, all. So I just they think they kind of just hit a regular season out, hope for a good pick in the draft. There's a lot of good Q, um, QBs coming out. Um, but I actually yeah. like Sam Howe. I think Sam Howe is actually a good QB. You like Washington. Sam Howe? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You His like numbers are bad. You I like don't, I don't, Sam Howe? Okay. I, don't, I mean, how, I, when you I, jump, I, just, I mean, just I wouldn't say. I'm about to say, how much do you like Sam Howe? Like, He's not the worst quarterback in that division. I'll say that. Yeah, I, I mean, think he's better than Jones. I, I mean, but that, I mean, Jones is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's, uh, I mean, you asked me. <laughs> that's fair enough. That's fair. All right. So, okay. So, okay. All right. Cool. So, yeah. All right. So, now going on then to the next division. Matter of fact, let me make sure I got these boys down here. Um, we're going to talk about here the AS, I'm mean, sorry, the NFC North. Now, we got the Lions, we got the Vikings, we got the Packers and the Bears. This one's actually kind of surprising. I can't lie to you. I know people are talking about the Lions this season and how they're going to be pretty good. Um, I think Kirk Cousins going down kind of crippled the the Vikings a little bit. Also, they lost Thielen too. Their 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 dynamic tra- changed a little bit over the off season. Um, is there it, it, it is 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 there any team that's going to be able to beat Detroit or 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 will Detroit start to falter for you? Because, again, at eight and two, I mean, that's kind of impressive. I ain't going to lie. That's very shocking. I wouldn't say it's shocking, though. Um, at the beginning of the season, I, I think we're on the shot. I, I predicted the Lions to win that division. I said that um, originally. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't think any other team in that division would come close. I said that before. I think the Vikings last year. Mm -mm. The Vikings last year weren't a good team. They had a good record. They weren't a good good team. They had a really good offense last year, and and that was able. They had a yeah, but they but they didn't. They lost Cook. They lost Cook. Yeah, yeah. They lost some some other guys as well, right? So, so but for me, even last year, they had a lot of. Close wins, like I think they had the most games decided by like I think two points or something. It was something crazy like that. I forgot what it was. Mm-hmm. So for me, they weren't an impressive team. They knew how to win, and I think the difficulty in that, if you look at the opposite, right? The Lions was the opposite. The Lions were a team that lost the most last year by the least points. Like I think they had like seven losses by like I think a total of like ten points. It was something crazy, some crazy stat. I hear that. They I turned. They, that. they turned. So the Lions and the Vikings were the opposite last year, where the yeah. Lions lost close games and the Vikings won close games. Um, and I think the Lions, their um, coach, I think they bought into that coach. I think mm-hmm. they're bought into kind of what's going on. Um, they got St. Brown, good receiver. I think Golf got a chip on the shoulder and things like that. Golf is a very underrated quarterback, probably one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the. Golf is good. Like golf, I don't no 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 no. I, I I don't I don't think he's underrated. I just think people think he's not that top tier quarterback. Like he he's I don't want to say middle of the pack, like above average. I think that's fair to say for for Buddy. I don't know what your thoughts on that because you coach football, so you you might think differently. I mean, like you know, like I, this season, not, this season he has twenty seven, close to twenty eight hundred yards. Mm-hmm. 16 touchdowns, eight interceptions, and a passer rating of 96.1. Um, I, I I think that's pretty good. Um, well, could that be? Could, be, could that be system and team, like coaching? How much of that is is factored I mean, in last this situation? Year, okay, last year he threw 30 touchdowns and seven picks, and he okay. had 4,400 yards last season. So you said 30, I, you said 30 touchdowns, seven picks. Last season, went for 99 and then, pass and, and, then, and then this year, we're at 16 and 8. You're, yeah, so he has more picks this season. He has, he has, and, he, he has, and we he have, and we about half the season in, or a little over half. I'm just saying. He half the season half. in, but his team, his, team, his team has a better record, too. His team is playing better. So, you're going to make mistakes. I'm, I'm, I don't know why. I mean, he just threw three interceptions last game. So, mm-hmm. that's, that's where most of his picks came from. Mm-hmm. Um, he had three last game. Uh, against the Bears, which is interesting. Um, but outside of that, he he hasn't really turned the ball over that much. He just had a bad game against the Bears, which 
that's that's the reason why his stats look like that. Um, okay. He, okay. he would have had five. Hypothetically, he doesn't throw three picks. So you know, it's right on play. Um, right on point. I I, I don't. So think do you feel like finish the season more than by eleven picks? So when it comes to playoff time, then because this Lions team is young, and again, going back to my earlier statement when I said it's kind of a surprise. Yeah, no, nah, it's still a surprise to me, bro. Like, because you got to remember, this Lions team was was pretty much where my Panthers are right now, like at the bottom of the barrel, but for a consistent time period. Like, they were 0-16 at one point in time as an organization. Like, we got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, can't, we, we can't forget that. So, um, how far you expect these boys to go? Like, they hit the how playoffs. How far? Uh, yeah, they hit the playoffs. And, and mind you, they hit the playoffs. Second seed, so they get that first round by. Like I said, I got them. I have Eagles and 49ers in the in the conference championship. Um, okay. In the now, um conference game. Now, so, what happens if what happens if they're the third seed? I guess can they sneak past that first round for you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll okay. yeah. They're gonna they're gonna make it to round two. I okay, have okay. I have Detroit making it to round two. I, if I if I probably okay. put four teams. So you know your top four seeds at NFC. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. We probably I think we about to go to them next. So let's talk about the let's let's talk about these ones next. Okay, uh, yeah. The, yeah, but I said these other teams, these other teams. Matter of fact, um, in regards to in regards to to the Packers, to the Bears, it seems like they got a little quarterback trepidation. Both have good young talents. But there's a question mark on it, it, if they got the quarterback of their future. Do the Packers and Bears have the quarterbacks of their future, or, 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 or is it just one of the teams, or do neither of the teams have that in, in, in your estimation? Um, I don't. I, I would say personally, I like Justin Fields. Uh, okay. I'm looking at his numbers right now. Mm-hmm. His numbers are underwhelming. Um, he hasn't played that many games this season. He's played what three, three, four, five, six. He played seven games this season. I will seven say games. it's a, it does seem like the coach does not necessarily like him too much. So it could be a coaching, it could be a fit issue as to why his numbers are a little deflated. Because last year, Buddy looked like he was about to have a breakout season this year. So yeah, and that's the thing. He had two games this season where he threw four mm-hmm. touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Two games, where he threw four touchdowns against the Broncos and the Commanders. Um, outside of that, he's throwing a touchdown to each game but the Vikings, which he had 58 yards. But I think he got hurt that game. I'm pretty sure he got hurt that game. He, um, he didn't play again until he played the Lions, and he had 169. Um, I, I would say for me, for Fields, and we're talking about Fields, I personally like the kid. I think he can play. I mm-hmm. think he has an arm. I think he went to an organization who historically – has not had good quarterbacks. When I think of a good quarterback on the Bears, I think of Kyle Orton or Rex Roseman. I mean, those are like two of the names that I like automatically kind of think of. I, I don't think of anybody kind of good for a quarterback in that organization. Um, for me personally, just be me personally, yeah, no. that, that, that team has historically has never had a good quarterback. I feel – yeah, no, I, I can't get – I. I'm, I'm not the biggest football head, like I'm, you know, but like dad, go, I can't think. <laughs> like, I, yeah, so and and I'm I threw a name on you. You like Kyle Orton. You probably don't know who that is. No, nah, I know so, Orton. I remember. I remember <laughs> Orton, but yeah, that's that. And that's, that's, yeah, to the Super that's, Bowl. Yeah, um, when they lost to uh, uh, Peyton Manning. So, so I would say like yeah. So historically, that team has not had a good quarterback. I think if you mm. put and you can play a hypothetical game all day long. You put Fields on a team like the Falcons right now. I think he plays great. I think he plays random Falcons. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. No, nah, that's a terrible idea, actually. I think he plays idea. great. I, 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 think he plays I, great. I, I agree. That's why I say it's a terrible idea. Do you not oh, see yeah. the jersey? <laughs> like, like, come on. I see the jersey. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you put him on a better, like, a team that's, has more weapons and like I can't even name one receiver on the Bears right now. I've been saying that for like two years. I would actually I, like I would like to see Justin Fields on on a team like the Vikings. What's your thoughts? 
even the Vikings. Yeah, even 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 the Vikings that they 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 have weapons, they have some sort of guy to throw the ball to. I can't yeah. name one receiver on the Bears. Yeah. No, no disrespect I... to any of those guys who are professional athletes. I right. can't name one receiver. I don't know any. So who was he throwing the ball to? Oh, I mean DJ Moore, respectfully. <laughs> okay, more okay, more is on the Bears. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, but yeah, more but 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 more is a good receiver, but I haven't watched any Bears game unfortunately. I'm not interested. I'm pretty sure he's getting double teamed. I mean, I'm 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 pretty sure he's getting shaded coverage, slided coverage, double covered. I'm pretty sure he is. Now I'm not saying Justin Jefferson doesn't or Jamar Chase or you know some of the right. best guys in the league, but at the end of the day, right. DJ Moore is not on their level. They're, they're not in the same conversation. DJ Moore is the number one. He's, he's not a Justin Jefferson. He's not a Tyreek. I know that's a, that's a conversation for a, a different day. He's not a Tyreek. He's not a he's Justin sick. Jefferson or Jamar. He's he's not one of those guys. And that's no disrespect to him. He's still a top 15, top 10 wide out for sure. But he's okay. not okay. on the level of a Justin Jefferson. No. Mm-mm. I'm just gonna no. say DJ on any given day, we can make it work, my boy. I'm, 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 I'm you gotta rock with your guys. You gotta rock with your guys. I but like not, him. It, I it, like it, him. It, 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 it is level to it, though. It is level to it, like you said. Um, I, uh, I would like to see Justin, uh, Justin Fields traded. I think uh, there are a couple teams that would be pretty decent. Vikings won. A couple like to see him paired with Justin Fields. I mean, uh, Justin Jefferson. Oh my God. Um, you got the Raiders too. I think that'd be a solid little interesting storyline to work with. Uh, you get Devontae Adams with him there. I think that'd be that'd be interesting. Um, it would. But I, he, he, he has good talent. I just want to see how he does with a quality team. And I thought the Bears was going to maybe take another step. But they also got a decent defense, too. But You know what I like, too, as well, which probably won't happen? I think you send him to the Jets and allow him to get – Play behind that's Rogers. Gonna, that's not going. That's not going. It's not going to happen. 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 But I think, I think Fields is incredibly talented. I, I, yeah. I, I think he gets slighted. If you look at that protect, I watched him in the preseason game. Like it, it, the, the the Bears is the bad team. Like they're they're mm-hmm. a bad team, mm-hmm. from top to bottom. They're a bad team. They've been a bad team. So it's What's- like. I don't know. I, I, I just I, need I just need to see him in a good organization. Exactly. And from there I need I need to see his decision making. Cause I can make we you can make excuses for him all day long. Oh, the team, the team, the team. Well, he does have a weapon in DJ Moore. So I mean, when he goes up against a team like the Lions, all right, I understand you're coming back from injuries, but still we do want to see a little bit better than a buck sixty eight, especially when we saw you drop four like two four touchdown games. Now those are against the Broncos and against the Commanders, who are at the bottom of the barrel of the league right now. So it does seem like when you're playing against low tier teams, you do well. And when you play against those top tier teams, you play subpar. So I think that's we, we recognize the talent. We just want to see that consistency. And I, you can blame right. some of that on the team. That's why I, I want him to be in a good situation because he's also going to have these are the prime years and with athletes. Like, and especially with football, like that thing can go pretty quickly. So. I don't want to squander this talent, that window for him. Because, I mean, who knows? This man could actually go and 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 lead a team to the Super Bowl in the right situation. So, absolutely, yeah. And that's yeah. That's, and I think that's the hardest thing with the NFL versus like NBA, right? Mm-hmm. But then, but you but look at too, right? The caveat to that is the NBA has those organizations that are similar. And I know we're talking about football right now, but Minnesota Timberwolves, right? It's 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 a prime example. You got so much talent that's been on those teams, and they don't go anywhere. They kind of, their careers just kind of just fly by. Like KG, yeah. Carl Anthony Towns, Wiggins. Even I, I mean, he's not the same conversation. But Anthony Edwards. You know what I mean? Well, I like, mean, I mean, they 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 try to make a little noise now. Like Ant Man is trying to make a little noise now. But yeah. like, but those but those organizations historically aren't prominent organizations and it's like for example Lamar Jackson I'm, I'm gonna go back to football Lamar Jackson is has went to one of the best organizations in football 
and they only started in I think 1999 or um, 96. The Ravens, I forgot which one. But at the end of the day, it's a good organization. Like they they are a winning culture. They know who they are. Their identity. They they have an identity. Right. I don't think the Bears have an identity. They haven't had an identity since Walter Payton in the 80s. So that's I the, thought their that's the, I thought their identity was defense, bro. Like I I, 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 problem, I remember. Though. But that's the problem. Your 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 identity is defense in 2023 still. That's I, I mean I, offense I think sells tickets, defense wins championships. Like that's but what they we got zero. They, that's they fair. Have I zero. hear that's a very fair point, but I mean if the if they the saying zero. is that like I mean defense has brought championships before, they just gotta keep trying to find the offensive piece, I guess. Like I I don't know. I thought they had one point in time of defense that could actually carry them to a Super Bowl, similar to, to what the Broncos did. I don't think Peyton Manning carries you to that to that Super Bowl. The defense does. Peyton Manning kind of just game yeah. manages. So that's that's what yeah, they're I missing. Agree. They just need that game manager, a couple pieces on the offensive end, and then tweak the defense a little bit, and they right there in the thick of things. But I also think their biggest thing is yeah. management, too. It's always been a little fishy. Like I, I, The fact y'all can't get it right, and y- they've been decent enough where I'm like, y'all could have sustained it. So I don't know. Like similar to, similar to my boys. Like, hey, bro, somebody in management need to leave. Matt. Matter of fact, hold on. Let, let, let's let yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, let's go ahead and make this transfer real quick. Um, NFC South, right? NFC South. Uh, Saints, Falcons, Bucks, Panthers. That is disgusting work. One and nine. Like, dog, we got – this is how many wins we got, bro. Like, this is how many wins. Like, hey, hold on. That's how many wins we got, Byron. I'm disgusted. I, 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 I'm. Who wins this division, though? Who wins this division? Saints are at five and five. Uh, Falcons and and Bucks are at four and six. I mean, I would say the Saints have the most talent, um, for sure. Okay. They have the most okay. talent. Um, I don't. If I'm Atlanta. I'm not trying to win anything. There's a lot of good QBs coming out. They QB look all right right now. He seemed he was he seemed to be doing okay now. Like I thought that was the case. I mean, yeah, but it's getting time for divisional play, right? It's getting time for that divisional play. You playing against? Hate to use the terms, but I'm not. You playing against scraps? I mean, you playing against scraps. I mean, you. I mean, you playing against teams that are four and six. I mean, the team that wins this division automatically gets a bid to the playoffs because that's how it goes. But they're gonna be a wild card team. I mean, you, I mean, you, you're gonna have probably the Saints win if I had to guess. The Saints will probably win the division. You'll have the Saints playing against probably Detroit or San Francisco. It's gonna be a slaughterhouse. It's not gonna be worth watching. I mean, you'll probably have the Seahawks play against the other team. I'll so, say this now: if if the Falcons get in instead of the Saints, because I think both the Saints and the Falcons could be tricky. Because uh, the you, I remember the, the Saints have a solid passing attack, right? They and do. Yeah, they Kamara. do. They got good receivers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think you can always throw in Taysom Hill for be to be a little wild card, and then for the for, for these Falcons, I mean, Ryder's cool. But Bijan Robinson, hey dog, that brother is a high. Like he he he's he seemed to be pretty solid. So if they can win off the run game, you can slow down. You can slow down. The, or you can take away a uh, time of, of possession. And if if you're up, you and they can't stop the run. Falcons could be a little interesting too. So I mean, I don't know. You you you. If it's like, if it's me, I don't I don't. You know, I know people say, oh, you know, people shouldn't throw the season, throw games. Mm-hmm. If you go to the playoffs, what you playing for? Super Bowl? I, 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 or growth? I mean, you got to see what you can do. You got to see what your ceiling is personally. Because like, you what your so, ceiling is. Because like, yeah, I agree. Us last, like, cause us last year. I personally thought, bro, we should have built on top of last year. Our defense helped us get to almost reaching the playoffs. We were almost looking to be in the lottery spot early on and turned it around. I thought we should have brought back Steve Wilkes as our head coach. 
Like there were things we should do. You know what I'm saying? So like we didn't, I knew we weren't going to win the Super Bowl, but we at least got to see what we needed. Okay, let's get, maybe we don't need to improve the QB as much. Maybe we just need to get more weapons or whatever the case may be. So that's why I look at it. Like if you have a shot at getting to the playoffs, maybe you just need to tweak something. But if you don't have a shot, then I agree with you. And I think you should take what you think. Yeah, I I would say, yeah, I would say, I mean, once you get anything can happen, right? Any given mm-hmm. Sunday, we were probably all right. in that movie, any given Sunday, right? Anything can happen, um, which is true. Anything can happen. I, 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 cause it's, you know, NFL is one game. It's not mm-hmm. seven game series. It's one game. Anything can happen within that one game. Now I gotta, I gotta bring this up though, brother. Cause you, you last time we had you on the show, you was talking about, um, talking about Bryce, Bryce Young uh, for my boys. And you were talking about how he's the second best quarterback in the division. And I would just like to say, I think that's wrong. Um, But like, do you believe that statement's wrong at all? Or do you feel like there's a chance he can turn it around and, 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 and showcase that he is the second best quarterback in the division? Yeah. I mean, I would still say, that he is the second. I mean, he reality. He might be the best. And you're like, wait, why okay. would I say that? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm very curious. Why would you say that? Even though we don't yeah, have the I weapons mean, in place, he, like I'm very curious. I mean, I'm looking at his numbers: nine touchdowns, eight picks, sixteen hundred yards, almost seven hundred yards. Right, seventy four QBR. Right, he. The numbers are are bottom of the barrel. I mean, it's baseline. Not very good. But were you expecting anything different? Yeah, I wasn't personally. Right. I didn't expect him to be twenty-two and ten, right? I didn't. I I didn't expect him. I like. I know we had this conversation before between Shroud and 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 Bryce Young, right? Mm-hmm. We had a conversation before. I still think. I still think Bryce Young is super talented. Like Shroud's numbers are are very good, mm-hmm. um, incredibly good. Like. He's got three thousand yards, seventeen touchdowns, and five picks. Ninety nine. He making me. He making me look very stupid because I say he looked overrated. In <laughs> and I told you he wasn't overrated. I said that. So, I said maybe I, said his, I still think maybe his O line is really talented, but that's another discussion for another day. I think Houston has a better O line. I, 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 I think I, they have hey, a better O line. Hey, they have hey. a better coach. And they have better weapons. I think they're a better team. Houston is a better team than than Carolina. Now, oh, I, mean, how, I, mean, how, I mean, let's let's not kick as well. They're a better too much. But, yeah, you know they're saying? a better yeah, team. We one and nine right now. We're, yeah, like, they're a we, better team. Yeah, we fish for think, that number one spot. Like, yeah, that's. You see, what I'm saying, that, and I think that's the thing. I think that's, but I think that's the thing with it too. Is like Houston right now is six and four. Like they're yeah. six and four right now. That's good. Like that's. That's solid. They they're still competing for a playoff spot. They're still see, trying to win I, that division. But see, I thought we had more in our more in our team than one and nine. And I'm not putting all the blame on Bryce, right? Because again, our O line doesn't look the best. Our weapons aren't the best. Adam Thielen's our best wide receiver, but he's really a number two, maybe a number three. So I get it's not the best situation for Bryce. No. I still mm-hmm. would have loved to see though, like like a 13 and eight, you know what I'm saying? Like everyone was talking about how special this kid is. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not seeing special. I, I keep cool, but I personally wanted Anthony Richardson and I made the video, but I'm, I'm stuck. I'm sticking with Bryce because I, I got to at this point in time, but the brother got at least three seasons to prove to us, Hey, he's worth this number one pick, which means we got to at least make some solid headway to get to the playoffs. Now, that also puts pressure on the organization, too, because we got to put him in the right spot. But I got to see. I, he got to at least prove to me that we can be comfortable in, in him being our QB of the future. But that does beg the question. Because, again, we're at the bottom of the barrel. We, we're more than likely going to get the number one pick. Who would you want us to draft this year? Because I'm liking Marvin Harrison myself. But, that, you know, maybe you feel something different. Because, again, He's a he, he he's a wide receiver. That's what I. Thought. But maybe we need to beef up um, the whole line and focus on that first because you do win in the trenches. Yeah, I would say this. I'm looking at there's a couple of things for me to answer this question appropriately. I'm looking at Trevor Lawrence stats for his rookie year. He threw 3,600 
He threw for 3,600, 12 touchdowns and 17 picks. 17 or in a 71 QBR. His second season, 4,000 yards, 25 picks. I mean, 25 touchdowns, eight picks. 95% QBR. This season, he's about 2,400 yards, 11 touchdowns, six picks. So he's still got pretty much seven, eight games to make headway. I think he'll be fine. Um, Jacksonville historically is a bad, was a bad team, was a bad organization. Trevor Lawrence didn't play well in his first season. They thought the mm. same thing. Oh, is he worth it? Is he worth it? Mm. It's a different narrative now when they bring in the right guys, get the right people around him. He had 17 picks and 12 touchdowns, and he was supposed to be the second coming of of of, of Peyton and a combination of a running guy with that. So yeah, so like I can't, and that's why I say I don't get held up, and guys will pick number one overall because you're picked to the worst team in the league, and so. so no, we go. no, I was saying, so with that being said about the IQ, right, would you lean us going skill or us focusing on the line? Because we got to protect Buddy. But to your point, though, and, and to what I was saying earlier, we need to give him hmm. more talent. So, so yeah, let me GM, think about that. I'm about I gotta, to say UGM. I gotta, you got to think about I gotta, that. I got to I got to ponder if I'm spending I, the number one pick on a wide receiver, not because Chase was picked fifth, right? Mm-hmm. He was picked, and he's he got held in a good Super Bowl, so I can't be mad at that pick. They thought Chase was picked too high, so and I I don't. I think he was an exceptional exceptional talent. So maybe this is maybe these are exceptions maybe these are exceptions but but here's what we'll do yeah yeah we'll get i'm gonna say a different segment yeah yeah i don't know yeah, but, i don't know yeah <laughs> well, well i guess i could i think that what what we just did is we're gonna have to we got to get mark and nick back on the show and ask them what they think because i'm sure uh they're gonna try to say o-line but again you you play wide receivers so i'm trying to get, i'm trying to help you out here and, and, and fight for your fight for your position you know what i'm saying but yeah they, but they, I, they, I think they, I, so many guys are so expendable nowadays. And I'm be honest with you, like you don't you don't need you give me the receivers of the Chiefs with a Kelsey, with that quarterback, with a Mahomes, oh, which who was right. exceptional, generational guy, but yeah. they don't they don't need Tyreek. The so People think thought that they were crazy when they let him go. Oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Won a Super Bowl. I mean, you you still could have kept. He won him. another one. I mean, won another you, one. Still, you still could have kept him though. That's all I'm saying. It makes it a lot easier. They weren't gonna pay him that money though. They weren't gonna I pay him that, that too. money. I hear that too. I hear that too. I hear that too. Yeah, I hear that too. Not they weren't that. paying him that money. But they look, had to pay let's... Kelsey and they had to pay Mahomes. So. No, that's true. That's true. But look, let's move on to the uh to the final division of the NFC, right? We got here, we got the NFC West, we got the 49ers, we got the we got the Seattle Seahawks, you got the Rams, and you got here the Cardinals. Um who go who gonna beat the 49ers if possible? Like, cause the, let let and I understand you're looking at Seattle Seahawks and six and four, and you say, well, obviously them, but I don't want to throw off. I don't want to, you know, slander the Rams too much because remember they did win the Super Bowl not too long ago. Sean McVay is still head coach. They got a good, they got a good receiving team. You know what I'm saying? Cooper Cup's over there. They got a nice little wide receiver, wide receiver car. I forget the young boy or the young lad's name, um, but the rookie, um, like they still got Aaron Donald. Like may, maybe they can make some shape. What's your thoughts, Byron? Can can the can the Rams challenge the Seahawks for the uh in the 49ers or is it really just gonna be 49ers and Seahawks battling it out? Um, I know Colin Murray hasn't played all season except for the last two weeks. Um, oh yeah, I ain't even mentioned them. They they fight me, they fight my boys I was, first. Time. I was playing against Colin Murray on 2K a couple weeks ago in Pro Am. <laughs> oh you're playing against them? Yeah. Hey, is he nice? Is he nice? Did you win? Talk he he wasn't bad. He actually wasn't bad. He actually wasn't okay. bad. He he wasn't bad. He's he had about like 15, 16. He actually was not bad. 
Okay. I don't know if it's him or his account, but they show like professional athletes with microphones and basketball. You know what? You know whatever they are. It, it was Colin Murray's account. Um, okay. He's on Xbox. Okay. He's okay. Cross play on two K. So, um, shout out to Colin Murray for playing two K. But I would say, um, I wouldn't count. I mean, clearly count them out the playoffs, the the Cardinals. But I wouldn't count them out at least making a little noise um, because Colin Murray has played the last two games. Um, so I'm sure that the Carol- you know the Cardinals will win a few more games. I do like Kyler Murray as a quarterback. I think he's very talented. Um, but challenging the 49ers, though, like no, no I mean they're not. I mean they're not going to challenge him. But I would say I was. But the 49ers are arguably top to bottom one of the best teams in the league, especially adding Chase Young. I hear you, but again, the Seattle I mean, Seahawks are kind of close. And then it's not like the Rams are OD far away. Like they, no, they, the Rams they, aren't doing no. They're not making no noise. I'm saying right now, if 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 you want, I'm sorry. I know this is for the segment. Rams ain't making no noise, and Cardinals ain't making no noise. It's 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 just like the Giants and the Commanders and the NFC East. It's the same thing. They're not making no noise, and no most of the Rams six. wild card spot, huh? No, that's tough. That's I think tough. I think I think McVeigh. Will probably be up after probably this season or next season. I think they let him go. Unfortunately, that's how NFL works. We want to shoot both three years ago. Everybody you think they're going to let McVeigh go? It's possible. Unfortunately, I'll, plus, I'll, they, I'll, plus, I'll, plus I'll. they were saying they don't know if he wants to coach. That's what they were saying. That's that's been the word on the street is they don't know if he wants to coach or not. Well, they saying he's too much into like Hollywood and stuff like that, where they don't know if he wants to coach anymore. What's he's he like doing Hollywood wise. I ain't seen him in no movies or nothing like that. Like he, ain't, they, they he just said like he's he like modeling. Like he, he he's just, a poster for yeah. He's like a celebrity now. Like ah, I got you. That's what they were saying. Like he's more of a you know what this is gonna do. I hate. I hope this doesn't like derail young coaches now. Because remember, he was like the youngest coach or the youngest head coach in, in NFL's history, right? He's so if that's the case, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if that if that's the case. Then maybe they're gonna start making a uh, the age requirement, like, oh, you got to be this age, because they're gonna say, well, look at Sean McVay, he wasn't mature. If what we're saying, if, if what you're saying is true about the reports, where you know he he's, he, he's claiming to like the or he's clinging to the Hollywood fame and and not really focusing on the job, so yeah, it'll yeah. be interesting how that it'll be I, interesting I think how I that heard plays this out. On what's it first take? I heard this like about a year or two ago. Where they were saying they don't know how long McVay wants to like coach. I forgot how the reports came out. I forgot. I have to find the source of that. Yeah, find that. Find out. Yeah, I don't have, yeah, I don't have all. The, I don't have the inside. But yeah, next time I'll share the video or I'll find the video of them talking and I'm um, discussing what I'm talking about. But yeah, I don't. I don't know, right? Like I think with the Rams, David, they, they invested so much into winning that Super Bowl. I mean, they gave yeah. away picks, first round picks for the next few years, second round picks, third round picks. They. Yeah, I mean, now granted, it paid off, right? They they got they won the Super Bowl. They They, also did kind of bounce back, though. I think they did bounce back pretty well, too, though. Like, would you say that again? I think after this season, you can look at the Rams next season and say, "Hey, they might be able to make it to the playoffs next year." Or you look at this division. I think Aaron Donald might be done. He wanted to retire. I mean, he was trying to. That's what I'm saying, though, right? You got a head coach who don't want to coach, and then they were talking about Aaron Donald retiring for the last few years. Uh, the yeah. team, he, they, they said he only came back because they thought that they could compete. I don't really see Aaron Donald maybe coming back next season. I, I think that's a possibility that he might be like, all right, well, there's no guarantee. I'm getting older. He got kids. I'm done. Like, he's okay. arguably the best defensive yeah. player of all time. Like, if you look at his his numbers yeah, it's and crazy. how many times he's been double teamed double and how many yeah. sacks he has. It's, I think yeah. I shared that stat with you last time. Like it's it's yeah. it's unreal. Like it, there's no player that's been double teamed that much and still makes plays. Like Fact. it's Fact. unreal. It is it is unreal. Like unreal. So without him, okay. Mm. I mean, I I think that got a little shot, but I I think yeah, like this season it could get a little tricky. Maybe they turn it around. Um, but I, I, I do think if they end positively, maybe he tries to give it one more shake. Because, again, offensively, you got Cooper Cup. You got the rookie on their squad. 
um, maybe you can make another run at it. But, yeah, now he was talking about retiring. I do think that these Seahawks could make it a little interesting for these 49ers, too. Um, I mean, Geno, he's out, actually. Like so they got Seahawks. dogs, right? Yeah, I like the Seahawks, though. I like – Yeah. I like this. I've always liked line. them. They Red got Cat, they got the um, they got those three receivers. They got the dude from um from Ohio State, um Jackson, yeah. um it's, Smith. It's in, um yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, like yeah. those Jackson three, Smith, I got it. I was like, yeah, yeah, him. He yeah, like play, those so. three, that's a good little team there. Like their defense isn't bad either. The coach is good. You know, I'm a I'm a USC Trojan fan. So I got, you I know, it's a bittersweet yeah. relationship with me and Pete. But like they're not bad either. I I like the 49ers. I think last year I said they were going to go to the Super Bowl um, and win it, actually. This year, they still can, but, like, it, it might be a little tricky this year, bro. Like, I don't know. These Seahawks these, these Seahawks look pretty good, too, as well. So, I mean, I understand 49ers got pretty looking solid out there. But it, it, I, how much money would you put down on the Seahawks winning the division? And, again, it's, a, it, it's very close right now. It's very close. Like. I know you said I mean, 49 I say this. the team, but Seahawks remain in schedule. They actually this might be actually interesting Thursday night game on Thanksgiving. You got the 49ers and Seahawks playing 820. Um on Thanksgiving. That is gonna be an interesting game. Sure. A lot, a lot, a lot's at stake here. A lot, a lot is at stake, at stake here, because so. the winner of that is the holder of that current division. They'll have the tiebreaker because they mm-hmm. play again December tenth. Mm-hmm. Um, so I th- and they're at Seahawks at home, I believe, as well. So uh, that's tough, man. I, I, and then they got the Cowboys. They got so they, the Seahawks have a tough schedule right now. They got they got the Forty ers the Cowboys, Forty ers again, then the Eagles. Those are whew, though that's. That's four tough teams, and then they got it easy. They got the Titans, they got the Steelers, and they got the Cardinals. But they got the next four weeks is their season. The next four weeks is their season. Um, they got to win three out of one. To me personally, they got to win three out of one for them to have a serious chance. They can't go two and two. They gotta. They gotta go three out of one. Um, they gotta. They gotta pretty much. They gotta secure the bag the next four weeks. Yeah, they got they got three tough games in a row. And then you got a little break, but then you got Baltimore afterwards and then Now you're looking at the 49ers schedule. Yeah, I, I my fault. I thought you I thought you were talking about the 49ers. Sorry about that. I'm talking about the Seahawks. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the Seahawks. Yeah. I'm talking about the Seahawks. Um I'm talking about the Seahawks. The Seahawks, the next four games for them. Yeah. Let me see Yep, that's what I was looking at. 49ers, Dallas, 49ers, Philly. I mean, shoot, they 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 schedule a a a a any tough a any tough or dad go. Yeah, yeah, that's you got that's tough. two tough. That's tough. So Pittsburgh right been playing some high on some high football. Not to mention they just fired the offensive coordinator, so maybe they might do a little bit better. Motivated Tennessee, they're not the worst team um, out there, so they could end up winning Philly. Best team in the league by my record wise. Yeah, this is. I mean, they both got a tough, a tough schedule. Um, yep, definitely do. Yes, sir, they do. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I would say, for for me, yes, for the Seahawks, how much money would I put on them? If they go three and one in the next four weeks, I think they finish the season. Mm, they'll win out four. Two out of the last three games, so I think they will have five more wins in this season. That puts them at eleven and uh, six, I believe. Okay, which should be good enough um, for them to get into the playoffs. Um, yeah, I would. I, I would say I wouldn't bet my house on it for them to win um, the division, just because they are one game not behind because San Francisco has. They had to play more games than them, clearly, because they had to get a buy already. So I, I would say, and they had to play Baltimore still. So I think this is going to be a good little race of who wins that division. They always got to play well. They got to play well. They got a they got a tough next four weeks, very tough. They play San Fran twice, and they play Dallas and Philly. 
That's tough. I mean, those yeah. are those are right. I mean, right now they're playing teams with seven and three records or nine and one records. Cowboys I'm have seven no, three records. I'm 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 hearing no I'm hearing no money putting down on the on, on, oh, on, on not. the Seahawks. That's what I'm hearing. Not. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. okay. I was about to say, I'm hearing you trying to think about it right now, and I'm saying uh-huh. it's a little it's a little trepidation right after the Seahawks. Yeah. They're, they're, right, so look, they're, hey, they're probably Lockett underdogs. and company. Y'all got to prove. Yeah, if if y'all if y'all like a challenge, Byron said y'all not gonna win. Um, I think y'all got a little shot. I might put a couple bucks on you. Um, I'm really hoping Lockett does well because he's on my like Lockett, yeah. football team. You know what I'm saying? Like I like <laughs> he cool. But he cool with me. I like but now, nah, so that's what we got for the uh, for the division. So just want to recap. We got for the divisions. You said. Um, the Eagles, the Lions, the Saints, and and and, and the 49ers all go in the division. Is that, is that is that correct? NFC West is a toss up for me. NFC okay. West is a I toss mean, up. I mean, you just said you weren't gonna put no money on the on the on the Seahawks. So I won't, but I think if they can win, if they can beat San Fran once. If they beat San Fran once, do you believe they will, though? That's the question. I can't count out the 12th man. I can't count out. Seattle be Seattle be balling right now. This is this is the only time of the season where they be balling. This 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 normally Pete Carroll's bread and butter I need time. An answer. So. I need an answer. I need we matter of fact, see, give me see, Seattle. Gonna, be gonna, I'm gonna run it down one nah, more nah, time. Nah, I'm gonna nah, run nah, it down one Seattle. more time. Eagles right here, you know what I'm saying? Yep. He said Eagles. He said the Lions. He yep. said the Saints. Yep. He said. Give me San Fran. They got an easier schedule. San Fran. All right. That's Seattle got too much hard of a schedule. They got to play Dallas, Philly, and San Fran twice. It's not happening. I mean, happening. They, I mean, look, San uh-uh. Fran got to San Fran got to beat the Ravens too now. Like that's no. That's no tough. That's that's no easy game. But watch them come up there and dog walk them, bro. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be crazy. All right, but I'm that's not gonna ask you though. But yeah, I, I would say the 49ers, the only team that they really have to play that's difficult in the next seven weeks, they gotta play the Seahawks twice, the Eagles and the Ravens. So they got four games for them too. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. That's they what got I'm really it's, it's yeah, a, it's, it's a, a very it's, tough situation. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. So it comes down to if you think the the Seahawks will beat the 49ers, and it sounds like that's where you start to hesitate a little bit. So, like I said, mm-hmm. Seahawks, DK, Tyler, and them. He don't believe in y'all. Like no, he don't believe in y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like this guy right there. Hey, but not nah, Byron. I appreciate you for covering the NFC, my boy. Next time. We're gonna try to get you on the AFC. I don't think you covered that one uh, last time, did you? I know no, you, no, you, I didn't cover it. Yeah, I, I can get on that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, definitely. Yeah, there. So we'll, we will definitely cover you on. The, we will definitely cover you on that, one, my boy. Do you have anything you want to say for the close up shop? Uh, nah, man. I just hope that y'all have a great Thanksgiving. You know, I think you know the holidays is always a tough time for some people. Reach out mm-hmm. to those people who you kind of care for, and those who care for you. You know, for some people who have struggled during this time. Nah, you know, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. Be careful on Black Friday if you go shopping. You know, I don't really do Black Friday shopping, but be careful if you do. You know, just have a blessed, blessed rest of your week. That's it. That's a great one right there. I appreciate that. Also reminding me, I definitely got some stuff that I still got to purchase on Amazon. That's my Black Friday shopping. I ain't going out like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not, not, going out. not at all. Hey, but those were good times back in the day, bro. Like Black Friday shopping <laughs> out and about. Those are all right times, man. I hated them lines, though. They were really long. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. But, hey, they were good times. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you're all having a good one. Take care. Not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, 
Leave your thoughts and comments below. But I gotta go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here, Tip.